Hey guys, it's Dr. David Abbasi, and here are some things I would never do as an orthopedic surgeon. Okay, first thing, I know we all like to lift heavy in the gym, especially with our legs, right? There's some things that we can do, such as squats, we can do deadlifts. The only concern I have with that as an orthopedic surgeon is you experience what's called axial load, right? So the weight is going all through your spine and we only get one spine, so there's only so much weight that your body can handle. And if you lift too much weight, sometimes what can happen is you can experience something like a back injury or a herniated disc. And I'm sure we've seen some of these big bodybuilders like Ronnie Coleman or power lifters that experience pretty severe back injuries. All it takes is one herniated disc, and then you can start having symptoms going down the leg, like numbness, tingling. This is something that can bother you for a lifetime. So just be really careful when you're doing max squats or max deadlifts, because all that weight going through the spine can really injure you. An alternative is an orthopedic surgeon, for example, what I like to recommend to people is to maybe go heavier on something like a leg press. The advantage of doing a leg press is, is all that weight is not loading through your spine. And you can still lift a, a large amount of weight and grow your legs and work on your muscle mass, without loading all that weight through your axial spine uh, and experiencing that axial load. So just one thing to consider, I know it's not gonna be popular with some of the bodybuilders or some of the weightlifters, but you only get one spine, you wanna make sure that you protect it. Okay, here's another thing as an orthopedic surgeon that I see all the time. Let's say you're a kid, you get angry, and you decide to take out your anger by punching a wall. You're never gonna win that battle, guys. And the other thing is if you're not like trained to throw a punch, you're usually gonna punch incorrectly. So the correct way to throw a punch is usually when you're loading through these first two knuckles or the second metacarpal and the third metacarpal. But people that are unexperienced, what they end up doing is they end up punching a wall and loading these metacarpals instead, the fourth metacarpal and the fifth metacarpal. What happens with that is you can experience what's called a boxer's fracture. And it's actually a result of incorrectly punching. You punch, the load goes through the incorrect knuckles and you end up breaking one of these metacarpal bones. All right, so let's do a risk assessment if you decide to do something like this, right? Best case scenario, I guess, is that you break the wall without breaking your hand, but you still have to repair the wall. Worst case scenario is you're ending up in a cast or even in surgery. Don't do it. All right, here's another one that really, really is important. As an orthopedic surgeon, when we rotated through the emergency room, we would see so many people come in from a motorcycle injury, and these people would be absolutely pulverized. They would have long bone fractures, they would have lacerations and cuts all over their body, they would have serious brain injuries. A lot of people would also unfortunately pass away and die because when you're in a motorcycle, you're completely exposed. The other thing that's so brutal about motorcycles is you can be doing everything right and it just takes one person to look down at a text message or something and completely wipe you off the road. You're so exposed when you're on a motorcycle that it's just dangerous. I know some people love riding and that's, that's their right, but as an orthopedic surgeon, I just get super concerned. For example, if you're on a motorcycle and you're in a serious accident where you fall off the motorcycle, we're talking about scenarios where we've seen patients with multiple long bone fractures. So like they break their femurs, they break their tibias, they break their humerus, they break their forearms, and all of these end up needing surgery. So we're like putting rods in the femur, we're putting rods in the tibia. I've been in a surgery once where we had like three or four orthopedic surgeons going at the same exact time. Two of them were working on one leg, two of them were working on another leg. Then we would go tag team the arm and then the other arm is, is being done by another team. That patient had a horrible, horrible change in their life as a result of having to, having to ride a motorcycle and being in an accident. In my opinion, if you want that freedom, just drive a convertible instead, you're way safer. And speaking of accidents on the road, another thing I would never do is ride my bicycle with the flow of traffic. I know some of you are gonna be like, well, that's the law. Yeah, I get it, but I'm still telling you that we see these patients in the emergency room with long bone fractures, with head injuries. And it, again, it could be a scenario where you're doing everything right, you're minding your own business, you're staying in your little biker's lane, but Johnny's looking at his text message or Samantha's looking at her text message and swipes right into you. Unfortunately, when you're going against the car, you're gonna get crushed. You're gonna get crushed by that car. So in my opinion, what I would tell you to do is ride your bike on the sidewalk or go to a designated area. I just don't think it's a good idea of riding your bike on the street where you have other cars going 50, 60 miles per hour and one incident or one accident and you're the one who has to pay the price even if you're doing everything right. It's just not worth it. We see too many of these people in the emergency room. Just be really careful when you're on the road and unfortunately, I just don't think you can trust your health and well-being to someone else, especially when you can't even see them coming. 
Guys, one thing you definitely don't ever want to do is dive into a body of water if you don't know the depth. If you're at your buddy's lake house or something like that, you see the dock, you see water, but you can't see the bottom, never assume that it's deep. Because if you dive in, if you land on your head, if it's more shallow than you think, that load can go through your head and into your neck. You can actually fracture your spine. You can break your neck. You can have spinal cord paralysis. You can have spinal cord injuries. Very, very serious. You can even die. Just be careful. It's very, very dangerous. Never assume anything. If you have to, jump in with your feet. All right, here's another thing I would never do. I would never take steroids. I'm sure the short-term effects, you know, looking good, it makes your muscles grow. Yes, it does. Your muscles look big and jacked, that's great. But what happens is you end up seeing somebody like me in the office because you're the guy who's gonna rupture your pec, you're gonna rupture your bicep. What people don't know is along with the common side effects like having acne, having roid rage, and all that kind of stuff, it also takes effect on your tendons. So when we go into surgery and we operate on these patients because they're the ones popping their bicep, they're popping their, their pec, Although it can make your muscles bigger and stronger and you look good cosmetically, what happens is it can start to cause what's called tendinosis or derange your tendons of the muscles. So the muscles you know, start as a muscle and all muscles attach to a bone with something called a tendon. And that's what causes you to move your joints. What happens with steroids is it can start to affect and change the tendon. So if I, if I do an operation on someone who doesn't take steroids versus somebody who does, usually the tendon on somebody who has been doing steroids for a long time, it just doesn't look like the same quality. So imagine that you buy a shirt from the store, right? When you first buy the shirt, it's a nice crisp shirt. Now imagine taking that same shirt and sticking it in the washing machine and washing it a thousand times. That's what a tendon looks like after you've been taking steroids. Those are the tendons that pop. Those are the tendons that tear. Those are the tendons that I take to surgery to repair. So just keep that in mind. Don't start taking steroids. The other thing is once you start taking steroids, you're all pretty much always gonna be relying upon it. Don't do it. All right, here's another thing I would never do, guys. Never ever put your feet up on the dashboard. You know how like you're cruising on the highway, you look over the car next to you, and like someone has their feet up on the dashboard? This is a major no-no, especially as an orthopedic surgeon, because if there happens to be an accident, what can happen is that airbag will go off, and those feet up on the dashboard those hips are in a very, very unnatural position. And the hips can get dislocated, your knee can get dislocated, you can have fractures of the legs or the, of the lower extremity. It's a very unnatural position. If you happen to get in an accident and that airbag goes off, you are most likely gonna have a very, very severe injury to your hips or your lower extremities. Don't ever do this. All right, guys, that's all we have on today's video. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys will actually like use some of this knowledge coming from an orthopedic surgeon and try to stay safe out there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave your questions, comments below, and we'll see you guys on the next one.